everyone and welcome uh, to our fourth lesson of our Little Gym at Home program for Parent Child. And before we get started, grown-ups, just a couple things that you'll need today. We're going to be using sticks. There'll be one for you and one for your kiddo. And if you don't have sticks, you can use wooden spoons, chopsticks, paper towel tubes, whatever you may have that we can tap together and make some noise with. We will also be using two brooms later, so make sure that they will be able to hold the weight of your child. And then we'll be playing with a ball, and if you have bubbles, we'll be doing that as well. All right, you guys ready to get started? My name is Teacher Lauren, and this is Pooh. He's going to be my helper today. And let's get our drums out and our hands out so we can sing our hello song. All right? Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. How do you do, everybody? How do you do? How do you do, everybody? How do you do? Oh, we come to the gym for fun and we'll get you on the run. How do you do, everybody? How do we do? Adieu, 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 adieu. Yay! Thank you. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about our neat feet. And so it'll be extra important that your kiddos are barefoot. We always want them barefoot when they're doing these activities, but today we really need them barefoot because your kids get a lot of nerve receptors in their feet and that sends information up to their brain and it really helps their, the muscles in their feet development, <laughs> the muscles in their feet to develop. And that is great for their learning when they're learning to crawl, when they're learning to walk, when they're learning to run and jump, all kinds of movement need those sensors in their feet to send it to their brain. Okay, and I've got a little name song for us. Are you ready to sing with me? All right, we're going to go <gasps> point your toes and flex your toes. Feet apart, feet together and wrap them in a bow. I love my neat feet, left and right, both the same. <gasps> Open them wide and tell me your name. What's your name? I am so happy that you are here today. Okay, we have one more verse, here we go. Point your toes and flex your toes. Feet apart, feet together and wrap them in a bow. Can you make a neat feet sandwich? Can you call me on your neat feet phone? Now put your neat feet in your home. Yay! Thank you everyone for singing with me, okay? We're gonna get started for our warm up. Let's move everything out of the way. Are you guys ready to get warmed up? For our warm up today, we are going to be moving in different directions, kind of work on some proprioceptive senses with them, working and seeing what directions they're going. Make sure that you have a safe space to move around in. All right, let's get started. Here we go. Can you clap? Please walk around. Okay, let's walk. All by yourself. Please walk, walk around. around. Today, there's a way. I love how you are walking. If you are spotting, if you're spotting their walking, make sure that you are holding underneath their arms. We don't want to hold in the hands. We want to promote them walking in the most natural way possible. And we don't walk around like this. So we walk around with our arms down or our arms out a little wide. So make sure that you're holding and spotting underneath their arms, just like I'm holding Pooh here. So that way they can have the most natural walking. And let's keep going. We're going to walk forward. I love your walking. To do it by yourself today. To do it by yourself today. Please walk. Walk. Walk, yeah. Please walk. Here we go. Please walk. Please walk. <gasps> Freeze. Please, Clap with me. <gasps> nice rhythm. Okay, we're gonna walk backwards. Make sure that you're holding in that same spot and see if they can walk backwards. There is a way Here we go. On this fun day. See if they go backwards. Make sure to remind them to watch where they're going. Turn their heads. Watch where are you going? We're going backwards, guys. Me. 
Please run me run all by yourself. All right, we're gonna run. If your kiddos are can run on their by themselves, let's keep doing that. If your child is not able to run yet by themselves, walk or run, then you can continue to walk and run and support them in that. Or you can pick them up and you can run together and then they can feel that running and bouncing movement. Let's go. Here we go. Whoa. You run so fast. I love your neat feet. Look at them go. Look at you go. Look at you go. Whoa. There we go. Run, who run? Oh. Are you running so fast? I love it. You guys got it. Freeze. Freeze. Clap with me. Let's run backwards. Oh, that's tricky. Make sure you're watching where you're going. Whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. How fast are you going? Are you running backwards? I am. It's hard. I don't want to fall. Run backwards. Run backwards. Run backwards. Run, run, run. Freeze. Freeze. Clap with me. Please jump around. Can you jump? Hold by your Jump. Please. All right, friends. So for our jumping, if we're in a spot of jump. We're going to hold that same spot underneath the arms. And then we're going to help them jump up and down and up and down. And then if you're demonstrating a jump for them, if they're really close, we can have them sit on their own, stand on their own, and then show them a really big knee bend for their jump. That helps them realize that this is what we need to do in order to go up. It takes lots of muscles to jump. There's lots of things that have to work together. So it takes lots of practice. Let's jump. Uh-oh, my music's gone. Come back. Here we go. Jump Are you ready? Jump. Today. Jump. There is a way. Can you jump in? Can you jump forward? To do it by yourself, I say. To do it by yourself. Go on forward. I don't know why. Up. But you got to try. Up and down. To do it by Up yourself, I say. Whoa. To do it by Here we go. yourself, I say. Jump. Jump in. Jump. Whoa. Can you jump side to side? Jump. Please help your child perform these stick activities. If they can do it by themselves, great. Let's start off with tapping your stick on your child's stick, or vice versa. Okay. Tap your stick on All right, stick. Blue, are you going to help me hold the sticks? You tap them tap together. Your stick on stick. I 
love your team or friends? Are you tapping on your grown up stick? Now tap the soles of your feet. Where's the soles of your feet? It's the bottom of your feet. That's right. Are you tapping? Can you tap the other foot? There's your other foot. Did you find the bottom of your feet? We think it's helpful to provide tactile input on the soles of our children's feet as the arches of their feet continue to mature and develop. Can you use your stick like a rolling pin and massage the soles of your feet? Whoa, get the soles of your feet. Whoa, what does that feel like? Try both feet. Get the soles of our feet. There's your feet, does that tickle? Now tap your toes with your stick. Tap your toes. Tap our toes. Tap it our toes. Tap your toes. Tap, tap, tap. There's our toes. Where's your toes? Thank Where you. Are they? Parents, help oh, your yes. child hold one stick between the soles of both of their feet. See. Then move their feet back and forth to roll the stick between their feet. Can you go together? child to see what it feels like to gently stand on their stick. Okay. Support them if they need it. Stand, stand up? What does it feel like to stand on their sticks? Whoa, what do they feel like? Oh, my turn. Can I stand on them? That feels interesting. <laughs> one is smooth Let's tap and one sticks is not. Together. One more time. Okay, come back. Can you tap together? of those little feet and give them a tickle and a kiss. <laughs> Thank you guys uh, for working on our feet and working on some rhythm and some fine motor skills uh, while we're holding our sticks. You guys did an amazing job. Next, we're going to move on to our full body three. All right. So for that, let me just grab these because we'll need them in a minute. Okay, the first activity that we're gonna do for our full body three is the feet on feet walking. You have probably done this before. Just have your kiddos stand with their feet on your feet. We're gonna put their feet down and see. Oh, can then can you walk together? Whoa, is that easy or hard? Pooh doesn't move, so he makes it really easy for me to do this up. Oh, well, we can walk back and forth, back and forth, and you can walk side. Oh, can you go sideways? Whoa, that's tricky. Sideways, sideways. There we go. See if you can work on some balance there. And for an extra trick, see if your child will stand the other way and if they can stand on your feet facing backwards. Oh, that is probably a new feeling for them. They're really going to have to focus on their feet and keep them on your feet. That'll help them concentrate and figure out, hey, what are my feet doing? There we go. Thanks for standing on my feet. We can walk backwards and forwards and sideways. Here we go. Thank you guys for trying our first activity. For our next activity, we are going to do the spinning, swaying, dip, dance. So go ahead and pick your kiddo up and hold them tummy to tummy and give them a big hug. Oh, 
Hello, Pooh Bear. I love you. Okay, and now we're gonna rock and sway back and forth, and then we can spin in a circle while we're swaying. Here we go. This is a really great activity, and not only is it some wonderful bonding for you and your kiddo, but it also helps develop their vestibular system in their inner ear. And then when they're ready, just go dip upside down and rock and sway and rock and spin and dip upside down. There we go. Are you spinning and rocking with me? Whoa, how fast can you go? Upside down. Rock and sway, rock and sway and spin. And then when you go the other way, are you ready to go upside down? <laughs> Thank you, friends. You guys did an amazing job doing your rocking and swaying spinning dance. And now we're gonna get our brooms. This is when you'll need them. Okay, go ahead and bring them into your space. And hopefully they can sit next to each other. Um, we're gonna be standing on them. You see, you wanna make sure that they're not gonna roll back and forth. All right, and we, hmm, what could we be trying to make here? Do you think we are making a balance beam? You're right, we're gonna walk on our feet on our balance beam today. Okay, are you guys ready? We are gonna, here we go. Go ahead and see if they will stand on both brooms and then we're gonna walk back and forth across them. And we're gonna continue to spot in the below their arms and the upper torso. This not only helps them walk in the right positions, but then it also lets them have control of their balance. And we really want them to be developing all those muscles. And if you're holding them and supporting them too much, then they're not gonna learn how to use those muscles. And so you just wanna let them really do the work. So we're gonna walk, walk, walk all the way across. Maybe we can walk backwards down the beam. Here we go, we can walk, 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 walk. What does that feel like on your feet? Can you go sideways? Can you step slide, gallop? Step slide, step slide, step slide. Yeah, we can go backwards. Whoa, that's hard. It's hard when you're not looking where you're going, huh? Where's that beam? There it is. Whoa, I'm falling off. How are you doing with your walking on your broom balance beam? Thank you, friends. And that was our full body three today. All right, we're gonna put these away and we're gonna get ready for ball time. Okay, here we go. Let's put our brooms away. Uh oh, they're falling over. And we are gonna do some more cooking this week. We're gonna see if we can kick the ball with our feet. Where are your feet, friends? Are they down below? Yeah, let's kick the ball. Kick. Can you kick? Maybe you're kicking with your toes. Maybe you're kicking with the inside of your foot. Uh-oh, my ball ran away. Maybe you can kick with the top of your foot. Maybe you have some extra friends who are helping you kick today. We're gonna kick the ball. Can you kick the ball back and forth with your grown up? I love how you are using your neat feet to kick the ball today. There we go, kick, 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 kick. My cats are loving this. They have no idea what's going on. Oh. Oh. Can you get a couple more kicks in? Here we go. Thank you guys for playing with the balls today. And now I'm gonna head outside and we're 
gonna get some bubbles. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna go outside. I've got some special bubbles. See you in a second. Are you ready for some bubbles? All right, I've got my giant bubble wand with me today. The first thing we're gonna try is, can you stomp on your bubbles? Can you stomp on them? Whoa, where'd those bubbles go? Can you stomp, stomp, stomp on your bubbles? Can you use your feet and stomp? Whoa, where'd those bubbles go? Where are they going? The next thing we're gonna try is, can you kick the bubbles with your feet? Can you kick your feet up and try to kick the bubbles? Kick, kick, kick. Whoa. Look at all those bubbles. Here they go. Are you kicking those bubbles with your feet? Can you now kick it with one toe? Can you touch the bubbles with your toe? There they go. Did you tap? Are you ready for the next one? We are gonna try something pretty crazy. All right, kiddos, I want you to lay down on the ground and put your feet up high in the air and see if you can pop, pop, pop the bubbles on our feet. Grown-ups, blow those bubbles down on their feet. Are you ready? Whoa, there they go. Get those bubbles. Thank you guys for playing with bubbles with me. Have fun. Thank you everyone for participating in this lesson with me. I had so much fun with you guys. You did an amazing job getting warmed up and seeing if you could tap your sticks together and work on your rhythm and then work on seeing, oh, what does that feel like on the bottom of our feet? There's so many different things that we can feel with our feet, with our very neat feet. And now we've got just one last thing. Also, oh, our sign today was walk. Walk, walk, walk. Can you walk with me, friends? We're gonna do lots of walking today. You do lots of walking and practicing your walking every day, don't you? And I am so proud of all of the hard work that you are putting in. Okay, so your pops for today. I want you to practice those full body three that we were just doing. So do some more feet on feet walking. See if they can practice balancing on your feet and walking around facing forwards and backwards. Do the rocking, spinning, sway, dipping dance, and keep having that fun bonded activity with you and your kiddo. And then try to do some balancing on some different objects. The brooms are quite fun to use, and maybe you can try to balance on something else. As long as you're doing it with your grown-ups, you stay safe. And then the other thing that I want you guys to practice doing is be barefoot as much as possible when you're at home and so that way you can really work on getting those muscles, receptors in our feet to sense everything to help with their balance and coordination and it'll really help your kiddos develop into confident movers. And now I've got a song for you guys to sing. We're gonna have to pretend that Pooh Bear has some toes, but we are gonna sing This Little Piggy. Are you ready? Let's find some toes. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. Oh, good piggy. This little piggy had roast beef. Oh, uh oh. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Thank you. Now, after class is over, if you have a book about feet, this is mine. It's the foot book. And maybe you can read it together. And if not, if you don't have a book about feet, that's totally okay. You guys can read another book tonight and have some fun. Thank you guys so much. We cannot wait until we get to be back in the gym with you. And I hope you're having a great time at home, staying safe, being healthy, and getting some exercise in. And now, let's see if we can sing our goodbye song. All right, get your drums out. Oh.
at home.